Because of the new DLC coming out Tuesday, I'm getting back into Nazi Zombies. I might be a freak, but I find the zombie maps to be a real highlight of this game. Maybe it's just my fascination with overly complicated secrets, I don't know, but I always have fun with them. Of course, I'm not getting into all this today, I'm just doing the surface level stuff to start. So here we go, Final Reich, how to get the Pack-a-Punch. It's now a long running tradition in these games to get the gun upgrading goodness behind a series of convoluted objectives and then vague relate to a running plot that only the hardest of the hardcore will experience. But that's just part of the fun. This is Eric, please subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see me cover more zombie maps. Even if I can't pull them off, I'd still like to get to the major easter eggs one way or the other. First of all, we need to enter the village square and find a big gas container with three red lights. There are three tubes attached to the gas canister which lead to three valves. You need to turn the valves at each pipeline. Two are in the village square and the third is in the riverside area. Once you've got all three lights turned green, we can enter the sewer and activate the first power generator. Hit the button in the middle of the village square near the boarded up hole. This blows out the sewers and causes some burning zombies to crawl out. Jump down into the sewer and turn on the generator to complete this step. Now that the first power switch is turned on, you can go upstairs to the village square and open the large bunker door. To fully restore power to the bunker, you'll need to find and activate two power switches. After activating one switch, you'll need to sprint to the other one to turn it on before the switch resets. One is located in the lab and one is in the morgue. Unlock both doors, then rush to activate them both to fully restore power to the map. Sick puppy, and I know sick. Yeah, I think I can get through now. With the power restored, you can begin unlocking the pack a punch machine. To actually make the pack a punch machine available to use, you'll need to unlock a path to the sewers. Then activate and use three disposal tubes. Disposal tubes are kind of a quick travel method for this map. They cost 250 jolts to use and transport you to the sewers. There are three disposal tubes on the map, but before we can use them, you need to travel down to the sewers and activate a switch. Once you hit that switch, the tubes will be open. Find a tube, slide down, and hit the reveal button. We need to do this for each of the available disposal tubes. Go to the tower area which you can reach through the pub to find the farthest disposal tube in the corner. 
The second is located in the command room, and the last one is found in the lab. You need to press all three buttons to completely reveal the Pack-a-Punch machine. My, uh, contacts may have dropped a clue about the Nazis ransacking Tesla's work, and then often the poor bloke when they were done. And that unlocks it. It costs 5,000 points to use, and allows you to upgrade your weapons so they do significantly more damage, speed up reload, and increase clip sizes. Hope you found this video helpful, and thanks guys.